what's going on guys it is your boy havoc here welcome to yet another tutorial on the channel i will be showing you guys how to make a banner for your youtube channel using a free software known as pixlr now if this video does help you out a like would be very much appreciated let's go for 200 likes on the video and also if you're new be sure to click that subscribe button and turn your notifications on uh, just to stay updated for future tutorials and just various videos on the channel and with that being said let's get straight into the tutorial the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page right here click on create a new image and we're going to make the width 2560 and the height 1440 and we're going to click transparent click OK and that will take you right here uh, just as a helpful tip just to start out to zoom in and zoom out on this program click and hold the alt button and then scroll in and out on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out and that that'll be a helpful tip for later on in this tutorial uh, the next thing that you're gonna want to do is click on the second link in the description that will take you to this template right here and this is basically a banner template this shows you the parameters of what your banner will look like on different devices uh, TV desktop and mobile device so the TV is the entire image desktop is this lighter gray area right here and then the darkest gray area right here is what your banner will look like on mobile devices so this basically shows you where you want the majority of your information you just right click save image as save it onto your desktop and then go back to your file right here go to layer open image as layer and then click on your channel art template which you downloaded and there it is right there and we can go ahead and move it up to where it's centered right here the next thing that you're going to want to do is click on new layer right here and go to the drawing tool and make sure it's on a rectangle and we're going to make a rectangle on the top portion right here and we're going to make another rectangle on this lower portion right here so after you do that um, now we want to try to find some professional fonts for your banner because personally um, the default fonts on your computer don't look that professional so the best website to find different fonts would be I would suggest the font.com now this website has like a thousands upon thousands of different texts uh, different categories so you can choose uh, based on what you your, your preferences are um, but I like script brush and my favorite font is against and so basically when you find the font that you want to download just click on download and that will show up right here show in folder we're just going to kind of drag that on the desktop right click extract here and that extracts it right into this file right here double click on that and click install i've already installed it so that's why i'm not going to do that um, but that's basically the process every time you want to download a font um, and it basically downloads onto your computer that's really all you have to do and basically all you have to do after that is just click on the text tool Go ahead and click right here and then go to put in your YouTube name because that was, that's what we're going to put in the center. So I'm going to put the Havoc and you can change it and basically whatever font you downloaded, remember what name it is because it'll be down here um, and I download against, change the size to probably about as big as I can make it 130 and then you can change it bold, italic or bold slash italic which whichever you really prefer I prefer probably bold right here and you can change the color I'm gonna change it to white but you can change it to different colors yellow green blue um, it's pretty self-explanatory you can kinda of go ahead and change it right here and move this over here to change it yellow um, but I really want it to be white it looks a lot cleaner if it's just white click OK now if you want to make your text look a lot more professional then I would suggest go ahead and center it up right about there and then you're going to right click on this layer right here go to layer styles and put up a drop shadow and this makes your text look so much more professional click 100 opacity 5 distance and 5 size now this is probably the best combination for me for drop shadow and then just click OK so now that we have our YouTube name um, so what you're going to want to do is go on to Google, type in Twitter logo PNG, and I've already downloaded these, so you're just going to go to view image, and then you can just drag this onto your desktop. So uh, once, once you want to do it, you drag it onto your desktop. 
uh, but since I already have them on my desktop, I'm not going to do that. So once you have the Twitter logo, and then you can also go to Instagram logo PNG, do the same thing. Once you have those, you can go to layer, open image as layer, and then we're going to do Twitter first. So we got our Twitter logo right here. It's way too big. So go to edit, free transform, and then make sure you hold on the shift button because without, if you don't do that and you're trying to change the size, it won't change it uh, according to what it was originally. Like if that makes sense, like the parameters originally, it'll just, it'll make it look really weird. So click and hold shift, as you can see, it transforms it pretty, pretty good right there. And we're gonna make it pretty much, I would say about that size. And you can zoom in just to see how it looks. You wanna move it over this line because you wanna obviously make it to where it's inside this mobile line because this is what your banner will look like on mobile device, this darker gray area. Because if you move it outside, people on mobile devices won't be able to see it. For me personally, it looks a lot crisper, it looks a lot more professional if every single font is the same color. So I'm gonna change this to where it's white. So right click on layer four, go to layer styles, go to inner glow, and then change it to 10 hardness and 100 size, change the color to white, click OK. <laughs> and then we're gonna also have a drop shadow, so 100 opacity, five distance. We're just gonna make it the same thing as our other text. And there we go. It looks a lot prof more professional if it just all matches up, if that makes sense. Um, so now we got the Twitter logo out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and import our Instagram logo. So we got our Instagram logo right here. Go to view or go to edit free transform do the same thing make sure you're holding on shift personally for me i would definitely suggest uh for for a font for your social medias would be nexa bold so i'm gonna go ahead and switch that to nexa bold i've already have it downloaded but you can search it up on um, on defont.com and then we're going to put at the havoc change the size to I would say about want to make it a lot smaller than the than your username so I would put it right about 30 or something like right about there change the color to white and then I'll do bold. I think bold italic looks looks pretty good right there. Click OK. And then right click on there, layer styles, drop shadow, 100 opacity, 5 distance, and 5 size. And I look, that looks pretty, pretty good right there. And then we can actually duplicate the layer, move it over to here. I would say move it about right about there. So the same distance from here to here as it is from here to here so it, it looks all like kind of matched up so you're going to want to go to the text tool click on this text right here and just go ahead and delete the app because you don't need an app for instagram you need it for twitter click ok and then we're going to go ahead and move layer 5 which is our instagram logo you're going to scoot it over to where it's right up next to our username right there so now we want to try to find our background image. Now personally for me, I like looking at images of backgrounds, so ocean background, so you can Google different images. Um, I really like this image, so view image, you can view the image, or you can go to the website. So for instance, here's the website that has that image and it has different images. So whenever you want a certain image, you can right click um, same save image as or you can drag and put it onto your desktop whichever you like so I've got ocean um, ocean background right here I would also suggest trying to find a texture so if I'm going to use that ocean background for instance I really like this ocean texture so same thing go to image as view image and then you can go ahead and save image as and that will should save it to your desktop let's say you want to do something different and let's say you want to do like a space station background like something more unique if you want um, then you can do that 
it's really up to your preference uh, whatever you can really think of um, you can use as your background so once you have that decided once you've saved that image go to layer open image as layer and then we are gonna actually I'm actually gonna use this space one first just to show you some different options so I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit free transform make sure you hold on that shift button so that it's it's uh, sizing it up the same proportions and we're gonna move this layer a little farther down all the way below this layer too, all the way below the the black rectangle so that it's down here and then you can actually move this layer a little farther up wherever you want it and I would say I would say it looks pretty pretty dang cool right about there I would say I would go back to Google search in a uh, black circle fade PNG go ahead and click on this one and this is a good one uh, just go ahead and drag it onto your desktop go to in uh, go to layer open images layer and then we can open this one as as here because personally if you want to do this on this program it just doesn't make the black fade circle big enough so that's why I searched it up but you can still do it if you want it to do it on this program um, but I'm just going to scale this up to about right about there I would say go ahead and click yes I'm going to scoot it to about right there and we're going to go ahead and do that on the other side as well so go to go to your layer duplicate layer and that will be right here and obviously you can see this like distinct line right here so make sure you're clicked on the layer go to layer rotate layer 180 so that this this dark line is on the other side so it's not visible and you can move that just about right about there I would say so now that we have that for me personally I think that looks a lot better um, than without having these dark edges right here um, but another added effect I would say would be go go back to your layer 8 or whatever your background layer is and just make sure you're on that layer go to layer or actually go to adjustment sorry and then go to hue and saturation colorize and this basically means you can kind of colorize it to whatever you want so before it looked like this then you can colorize it and change like the saturation or change the lightness um, so you can basically change whatever you want um, the hue I think the hue kind of changes the color yeah it does so hue changes the color so if you want it to have it like kind of bluish or let's say you want to have it like purple so like, you can change you can change the just play around with it you know honestly just play around with it now as a suggestion though if you want to just see how your your banner might look if you have a different background image you can go to image or go to layer open image as layer go to let's say let's say if you want to have it like an ocean background go to open that up go to free transform and go ahead and shift make sure you're holding on shift and there it is right there click yes and then you can move it to about I would say I would say it looks pretty good right about there and then now that you have that out of the way and you can kind of move this layer down below it just just to see what you want you like better um, but now that you have that you can go to adjustment hue and saturation and do the same thing as well um, so you can change like the saturation just to see what one you like the best I really like this one um, but you might really like this one as well um, so just just play around with it once you figure out what you want go to file save and then you're gonna want to save it as a I would save it as a PNG or a JPEG preferably a JPEG and then go all the way to 100 quality obviously click OK and then you want to change the name to maybe just banner um, I'm just going to name it banner one two three because I probably have plenty of banners on here um, and just go ahead and save it onto your desktop once that's saved we can go to YouTube so click on that right here click edit channel art and then select a photo from your computer click on the banner right here click open and then click select and once you select it there it is right there 
so it's all saved it's on your it's on your YouTube channel so that's basically how you do that um, but I, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial I hope it helped you guys out and with that being said um, be sure to leave a like if it did help you out um, and with that being said uh, be sure to join this the havoc army as well and I will see you guys in future uploads hopefully it's been your boy havoc here and I'm out peace